Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So as you all know, I'm a really peace loving person. I believe in 100% harmony among communities. And because I have this life philosophy in which I believe a man should never consume bitching or produce bitching. Okay, so but there are so many people out there who create groups and they just all they do is just bitching. Okay, they go on YouTube, just consume bitching where, you know, people are just making videos doing bitching only. All right. So I feel like it just fills you with negativity and uh, this is not good for your personality. Okay, so I'm better than those people. All right. I don't do bitching. All right. I don't like bitching. But uh, so I released this video where I try to show that Linux ecosystem is slightly better than Apple ecosystem and Linux can also do same level of, you know, sync between devices as you see in uh, Apple. So there are so many negative comments I got uh, from the Apple users. Now notice this that I, you know, my channel is a little bit niche. All right. So I forgot like I live under a rock okay i forgot that there is a word out there where you know people are using apple products and they actually do care about their software so okay so for example linux and uh, there are so many linux users who create echo chambers where they constantly just bitch about windows community people and then there is this windows community users i don't know if they exist i don't think they exist is there any group of windows fanboys i don't know so yeah basically i don't know then what linux users are fighting like okay all right this is this is interesting but okay let's that was a tangent so my point is that uh there all right so basically i got a lot of uh, negative comments from apple users all right so usually you know i'm a higher being not spiritually but you know i am better than these people so I in, on my channel, have you ever seen me bitching about Windows or, you know, Linux? Because I thought it's obvious, all right? I forgot that there is a word out there where people are still way too dumb, all right? And these things have to be seen. So I feel like, you know, I have to say this because previously I was thinking all I have to do is debate over Gen 2 versus Arj. But I think uh, I have to leave that shell now i have to go on top in real world and just talk about because even though i believe in zero bitching i still believe in having opinions and not just opinions but strong opinion i believe people who do not have extreme opinions are pussies <laughs> at least you know like okay whatever so my point is that all right my point is basically there are a few comments and as you can see even the jackie monster is here in the comment section all right he's fighting now it in case if you don't know the jackie monster he's my friend who actually a new friend because he recommended me the program piper all right so we exchanged two emails i guess one email so i am not able to uh, you know i didn't get a time to tell him that he's my friend but this is the video so you know it's official now so now since you know he's getting bullied here it's it's I think as a friend, as a good friend, I have to uh, enter into the mess and just talk about, just share my opinions. All right. So, for example, this comment: I'm a full-time Linux user, but I also own Apple products. I get what you are saying. However, you can't deny that integration of Apple products is torch not. We can replicate most of the functionality. Blah blah blah. Linux, as you show in this video, are <laughs> you know never be as okay. Linux as you show in this video, but it will never be as seamless and easy as using Apple devices. See, this is a negative comment, clear negative comment. Like, how can you say that Linux can never be as seamless as Apple? Okay, we can install clients of a software as it does in some things. We can connect and configure devices to work in certain way. And that's great for Linux users. We like tinkering. We are technical. Stop using we. However, Apple products do that out of the box without any configuration. Um, and that is why people keep raving um, about it. Even someone. Okay, first of all, I know Apple products. Okay, stop telling me about Apple products. You have an uh, Apple Watch. You can unlock your Apple devices without doing. First of all, uh, when I upload videos on YouTube, I do not understand these days. Like what I am doing. Am I, you know, just me posting something of my opinion or am I just starting a thread uh, about certain things and then people are just using my video as like a Reddit thread 
uh, by just looking at the title and the thumbnail and just starting in the comment section or i don't understand like i feel like this channel is like my platform where i i get to say things but then people in the comment section somehow thinks that you know they uh, like or like they or they can also say thing i don't know okay i think if i just use that one button just to turn off comment section is enough for you know just to break this delusion because trust me nobody care about this this level of replies which people are doing here or like this is literally just wasting your time uh, if you want to speak just speak at least speak on your channel create a channel and speak there it's better chances that people will hear you okay even you jacky monster don't waste your time with explaining <laughs> you know such apple apple users all right so okay so first of all here i understand apple products okay i know that how, how apple watch work it's not like i am so much under the rock so i don't don't tell me these strings it's like time waste now first of all uh, my first point here is that you need to understand that linux have a really small user share okay with such level of user share i have seen linux systems which just works perfectly for the people who do not understand tech and i have seen this so many so many times that i am fully convinced that linux can be used by any normal person easily as easily as apple okay especially for a lot of daily daily life task right so for example if you have you ever seen gnome gnome project okay it's literally i feel like if linux get a higher market share there is no reason for us to not believe that gnome cannot beat apple uh, ui all right gnome is such a usable system with such a less amount of user share okay so you need to understand that when you say things like uh linux is not able to do this all right apple apple get stuff out of the box you need to understand that uh if linux um uh, become mainstream or even if it gets like a higher number of user share you can get tons of services online tons of people tons of companies who will you know provide you such level of functionality out of the box which is because what you are expecting here on uh, this server client software so when i show like cli stuff people think that they also have to do this no there are first of all a lot of gui programs out there right now which you can use in order there is sync thing okay you don't really have to do what i was showing you can use sync thing to sync the files all right but if you don't want to set up sync thing by yourself there are, there are multiple ways okay so for example jacky monster also replied that you are actually wrong about without setting up face you do need to uh, you know connect your devices via apple id because all of this convenient and automatic setup is done by servicing uh, services connecting to apple servers okay so basically in the end of the day apple is basically just using the technology which is already existed it's not like uh, apple is doing something out of the box apple is also based on uh, some unix system like psd system all right uh, like so basically if instead so you have a apple system and the devices are saying because apple use icloud okay now instead of using icloud you can basically uh, use some other service uh, but unfortunately if you use apple products you cannot i don't think you can do it as nicely as as you can do in linux okay linux on the other end he also said uh, however it would be technically possible to connect all your devices via ui application which only requires similar amount of. so basically what he's trying to say is that linux um, you know it's a fast tool so it do not provide you any system like this uh, whatever apple provide but it is quite easy okay you can you know use some third party services and connect uh and people also need to understand like when you fight against linux what what you are fighting against like if you are saying things like like apple have better ecosystem or okay this is something i said i mean if you if you say stuff like this you need to understand that linux is just an accumulation it's an accumulation of it's just a kernel and we get like more and more tools accumulated there is no linux operating system you are you have to pick some os and then fight against all right so with such level of diversity like you basically it's really hard for you to just comment like this okay uh basically when i say linux ecosystem is better than apple ecosystem my 
basic point is that you can do it with free software applications okay you can just use FOSS and you don't really have to depend on Apple product so whatever we are doing on this channel or anywhere our main goal is just to uh, just to use computers be able to use computers okay uh, with the software and all okay in our, because we care about privacy and Apple users do not so I mean it's not just privacy it's just our thing that we do not want to have a corporation control over our computers okay so I don't know I have a question for Apple users do you guys even understand uh, you know seriousness of privacy I think this is like this was my second point and I feel like this is enough for anyone to you know get convinced that no matter how shiny apple product is just because you get everything out of the box or you get spoon fed it it's still not a good option okay it's not a good option uh, all right so the fight uh, is huge here all right uh, no you wouldn't if you get any device running links you would uh, not uh, sign in with any centralized id okay so this is actually a feature if you care about a you know if you care about your privacy this is actually what you should ask for all right you should not open your system and then you know connect to some uh, apple servers you should you know you should get control basically if your software is not providing you control then this is an issue all right but of course like apple users won't get it because they are not technically smart they just uh, the only reason they justify their um, like software is because they spend so much money on it <laughs> all right so there is one more point which people need to understand that the one reason why linux do not get mainstream is because um, systems have uh, windows and linux um, sorry windows and apple pre-installed okay mac os pre-installed and the reason uh, this happened is i don't know why it happened I think government should ban this uh, if somebody is selling hardware he should not be allowed to you know install spyware <laughs> you know and then sell it uh, this is really bad it's just uh, the it it all comes down to people do not understand tech okay especially uh, I mean they do not understand the importance of privacy they do not understand tech and then they tell that you know Linux software sucks and blah 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 all right so so for example Jackie Monster here made a really good point that you know you you get all of this out of the box but Linux can do this okay it's just like Linux is it's a free software okay it it do not provide like it you you can never imagine opening and or installing a Linux system and then you know uh, connecting it with some random cloud okay this is this is not what you wanted all right so if you if you basically this is this all comes down to privacy versus convenience all right do you want privacy or do you want convenience and then it's apple if it's apple users then it they will always choose you know convenience so i have seen people i have lots of my friends who use linux on daily basis and they just do it fine and they do not understand tech a lot and uh, i you know because of free software toolkit you can say <laughs> all right i can create systems uh, i can for my students and i want to set up a tech school by the way all right so i can do this so all of this is possible and people don't even understand that free software is the only reason that uh, we are able to use computers now without compromising privacy okay we can achieve 100 privacy by using free software it, it is a possibility okay so and and if if you just talk about technology okay like if, if let's just forget about privacy let's just forget about um, like it's free it's open source let's just forget about that if you just talk about software quality first of all i i still don't get it i have used mac os it sucks okay i i have struggled a lot all right so people who make this argument that you know linux is hard for beginners or blah 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 it's just basically you you don't have experience with it okay when you see some issue in windows how people know how to open task manager how people know how to you know do there are a lot of people who use windows and they know some basic stuff in linux i don't understand basically my point is that if you ask my real opinion i feel like people should get uh, educated um 
on the basis of technology i mean how can you expect a complete population using computers without any base knowledge of computers all right and i'm not saying that just teach everything uh, teach programming compiler or everything but at least in schools we should teach about privacy and some basic uses of computer all right so we do not get scammed by you know apple or windows kind of companies all right so uh, also i really hate how uh, these companies uh, sell software and earn so much i mean seriously there is no software project which takes so much money to get built and it's as you can see all these tech giants like world's biggest companies right now apple and google and um it's it's a tragedy like you know we can have free software and we don't really literally need so much bullshit out there okay so uh and you know it's it's better to have instead of everything centralized on just apple and windows we can have like a you know complete a colorful world okay we can have like different different distribution everybody is using uh distribution based on his own needs and he's able to customize it, uh, you know his system by all it takes is just little bit education little bit technology if um, if somebody who is not a techie he can just use a simple gnome system if somebody is techie and if we get a high user share it is highly possible it is highly easy also okay we will get more bug fixes our software quality will improve um i i it's just like it's just something which is not going to happen because linux do not have absurd marketing and it's not a company it's just like it's just a stupidity in the end of the day it's just stupidity of um, i think government should do something like literally like if if i i feel like if there is any government with little bit technology and privacy understanding i think this is why i like north korea because even though the government collectively you know government look at your stuff but your operating system is linux based in north korea okay and if you see collectively they they got privacy okay if you see the entire because that is a collectivist country so they got privacy sorry for rambling sorry for rant uh that's my opinion uh three points one is linux have a small market share even then linux is able to crush apple software i'm pretty sure uh the second point is that um, linux do not come pre-installed and linux uh, should i'm not saying linux should come pre-installed but you know uh we sh- like government should ban uh spywares pre-installed in you know hardwares and the third point is um i forgot uh third point is basically yeah get some tech education that that is highly required okay so that is it that is all for apple users i can't say much